This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It's so great to have you joining me here in these online lessons. This is lesson 25 in this series that is all about strumming patterns and strumming principles. In this lesson, we're going to continue to work with 16th notes, kind of in that double time fill. So lots of movement in the right hand, even though the overall tempo is going slower, gives us a sense of energy. So super, super fun. These lessons are coming out on Saturdays now, just once a week as we wrap up with the last few lessons of this course. Love strumming, love creating grooves. Let's go ahead and take a look at the strumming patterns that I have for us this time. So we'll start with this one up here on top. I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it, and then I'll work through pieces of it with you. So you have down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. just like that. So we have pieces of it. We'll start with the three downs. So you're going to have down, 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 three, uh, uh, down, down, down. Pretty easy. Three downs. We got that down. Then we're going to add that down up. So one, two, three, four, and, uh, one, two, three, four, and, one, two, three, four, and. Now, as we're doing this, we're going to throw a little bit of an accent on that third down. One, two, stress it by strumming a little harder, or I squeeze the pick a little bit, a little bit tighter. And down, 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 up. We want a little bit of accent there. Once we've got that, let's add the next up. So down, 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 up, up, uh, uh. Read the end. Once we've got that down, we'll add that down there. Down, 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 up, up, down. Down, 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 up, up, down. Down, 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 up, up, down. Now we want to add down, up, down, up there on the end. And if we can, add an accent right at the first of those. So you're going to have down, 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 up. Up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Hope you can kind of feel that groove. Makes us want to dance a little bit. So down here, I've got a chord progression. As you know, if you've been going through this series, once we've got the string pattern down in our right hand, we want to put it in with a chord progression and start having fun using it. So I've got one for us, G, C, add 9, G, D, G, C, add 9, D, and G. We've been using some of these chords recently, so it may be familiar to you, but I'm going to use the G that uses all four fingers. Index, that second fret, on the fifth string, middle at the third fret on the sixth string, and then ring and pinky on those top two strings at the third fret. Then for C add nine, all I have to do is move my index and my middle one string higher. So my index is now on the fourth string at the second fret, and my middle is at the third fret of the fifth string. And of course, D is just the basic old D. So we're gonna have down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Let's go ahead and plug that in. I want to, I want to, Betty and G. C at night. G. 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 C at night. G. And G. Just like that. Wow! Okay, so let's do it at some different tempos. Let's slow it down. It feels a little different. Maybe it's a little more challenging to play it slow, but we'll try down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. One, a two, a ready, and G. You can even get
get into that like power ballad sort of feel where you keep some momentum going at the slow, slow tempo. It's pretty cool. Let's take it fast now. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we'll go ahead and do that with the chords. One, a two, a one, two, ready, and... I think it's super, super fun. Of course, we can add in the palm muting, do power chords or something. Let's do that. So we've got the the palm is going to sit right on that saddle, create that palm mute sound. If I come up and do my power chords, just have those basic shapes. Of course, we won't have the add nine. We have G, C add nine, and D there. And we can do this. It becomes more in the wrist, nice and tight. And I'm going to I'm going to lift up. A lot of times I personally lift up with that palm mute when I'm doing the upstrum. So one, a two, a ready, and we'd have. Okay, so let's check out the second strumming pattern here. Got some variation. This one has lots of 16th notes, except for this first eighth note, it's all 16th notes. And of course we have a 16th note, two 16th notes, they're tied, so that's kind of an eighth note as well with a little syncopation in the middle. So this one sounds like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm going to walk us through a little bit. We just start off with that down, down, up, down, down, up, ready, and down, down, up, ready, and I'm going to slow it down just a little bit, down, down, up, ready, and down, down, up, ready, and down, down, up, ready, and then we're going to have down, up, down, up. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. And 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 now we're going to have up, up for that syncopation. So we're going to add that extra up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. We want to add up, down, up there. So we've got the up, but now we want to add the down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we've got that down, up, down, up there at the end. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Now to really get it to lock in, it really helps if we accent right there at the beginning of beat two and the beginning of beat four. We accent the same way we've done earlier. We just hold that pick a little tighter, strum it just a little bit harder, and we get that accent. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Once we get that going, we're going to plug it into our strummy or to our chord progression here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you got one, a two, a one, two, ready, and.
Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's take it slower. I want to, I want to, ready and... Slower one, two, I want to ready and now so one two I want to ready and tempos help create a slightly different groove and we can change it up more as we know the rhythm and the strumming direction contributes to the groove and to the strumming pattern. The time meter does as well, the time or the meter. But let's go ahead and do the palm muting with the power chords and we'll get a different sound. Go about there. One, a two, a one, two, starting with G. thing is really something we mostly do in 4-4 four, four time. You get these same kind of things maybe happen a little bit in an odd meter like 5-4 or something, but you could also have 3-4. If we went back to this one and just take off beat 4, or you could take off beat 1, but we'll take off beat 4, you would have down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. We're just going to change it up, so if we put that in with the chords, we'd have three, two, one. So you can adapt these for 3, 4, and other time meters as well. 2, 4, you could just do the whole thing over two measures. So, cool starting pattern. Hope you have fun with that one. It's super fun to play. It's a great one for lots of different songs. And it's really good for our technique. So, awesome. In the next lesson, which will come out next Saturday, we're going to do some more strumming patterns that use 16th notes, but create slightly different grooves. So... Lots of cool things that we're working on here. Mondays through Fridays, we've got other lessons coming out. So Monday through Saturday, we've got new lessons coming out on the channel. And of course, there's several hundred lessons that have already aired. So plenty of things to check out to help, with, help you with playing the guitar. Have fun with it. Take care. And we'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube 
and my guitar method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.